everyone, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're talking about the Jal Test unit by Kajali. We're going to specifically talk about the commercial vehicle side. Um, this particular unit you're seeing right here is actually a demo unit, so we've actually got coverage on off-highway and agricultural. But on the truck side, we know the coverage is great there. Your trailer side as well, you're going to be covered on your braking systems and your reefer units. And they've also got bus coverage. So those are some of the manufacturers there that it covers. But one thing we don't ever talk about is the gas coverage that's included with this. Um, of course, this isn't going to cover every gas vehicle out there, but you do have some of your smaller trucks in here, such as an F-150, which is what we're going to connect to today. We're just hooking to our chop truck here, which is 5 liter gas engine. So we're going to run a system scan. We're going to scan. We click Next. This will take around four minutes to do so we're just going to kind of fast forward through that process a little bit um, not make you wait the whole four minutes here and once this loads up it's actually going to show every module on the truck here on the main page and you can come down here and you can look at all your current fault codes in there so if we scroll down we see we've got one in here for battery voltage to actually connect to these modules you'll actually find whichever module you want to go into and double click it in this case, we're just going to look at the PCM and the TCM. Again, it takes a few minutes to connect here, so we sped that up a little bit for you. Once you're connected, it's laid out the same way it is on any of your other um, truck software here on this unit. So we can read our fault codes. We can clear them. We can look at our vehicle information, which is going to tell us what we're connected to today. And then our monitoring, which will actually be our live data. We'll select all 224 different PIDs here. It's 28 pages going to crank the truck up real quick just so you guys can kind of see the live data change as we scroll through it. Go through these first couple pages kind of slow and then we'll speed it up since there are 28 of them. All right. And we'll go on and click through fairly quickly for the rest of this. So you're able to see all your live data really well with this tool. And once we're finished, we'll click this check mark up top. Let's go ahead and get to these last couple of pages. Click that, and we'll actually click our back button to go back here. And you've got actuations. So these are going to be things you can go in here and test. All right, I'll just work my way through the list. Of course, purge valves, output signals here, look at your air fuel ratio. We can go in here to our fan actuation. We can actually cut the lower high speed fan on. It's going to ask us to do that with it not running. I've got it running right now, so we're just going to back out. Um, we'll actually go in here and run a cutout test here in just a second so you guys can kind of see it working. But you can also look at your uh, transmission solenoid valves, and the system checks are going to be more of your test, and this will actually get us into that cylinder cutout we were just talking about. So what we're going to do whenever we cut these out is we'll go ahead and check mark this. Um, We've actually added another little insert video here so you guys can hear that cutting out to show that it does work. Everything we have tested on it has worked, um, so it seems to be a pretty well-rounded tool here. Process this, and then we'll actually have to choose which cylinder we want to cut out. So we'll go ahead and start switching these off and back on, and we'll go ahead and do three of them. Back. You guys can hear a difference there. We'll do one more. Once you're finished with this, you'll actually we can go back out, go back to our cylinders there, and it'll give you an option to actually view this in a graph if you want to when you're finished, so you can actually see that data. We'll click yes in this case so everyone can see. And you just scroll it down and it shows you, you know, for each cylinder as you've cut it out. So you've got your graph here for cylinder one. 
And then if you scroll down, you get the other two cylinders here that I cut out for two and cylinder six. Check mark that. Under your maintenance tab is where you can go in here and do your adaptation values and calibrations. Of course, you can make things you need in here and calibrate. You're also able to look at the operational data here on this. So overall, I mean, for a truck that's based on diesel coverage in a heavy duty market, it does really well for some of your gas engines. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.